Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Renault, and this will be a brief review of Chapter 4 of Hoberman's Data Modeling Made Simple, entitled, What are Entities? So, what are entities? Entities are nouns. They're things. They're, they're things we as the business want to track. We can think of an entity as a collection of values or attributes about something an action, a thing, an event. Um, and these things have to be important to the business because these are the things that we're going to be tracking in our, in our data models. If you've ever taken a journalism course, you're familiar with, with, these, with the, these lists of, of words. But um, I want you to think about entities can be who's. Employers, customers, employees, students, um, vendors. They can be watts, a part, a service, a raw material. Um, they can be a win. They can be a fiscal period, a tax year, a date, a time. They can be a where. They can be an address, a place, a GPS coordinate, an IP address, a URL even. Um, they can be a why. Why? Like an order, or a return, or a purchase, or an inquiry, or a rebate. And uh, it could also be a how, because think about um, an invoice. An invoice is how we create an order or how we do an order. A purchase order is how we make a purchase. Um, a general ledger account would be how, because that's how we keep track of our of our uh, general ledger balances and our and our and our accounts and our accounting system. So you could see that entities can be. All kinds of things, who, what, when, where, why, and how, all have to be modeled in a data model. Just real quickly, though, talking about the uh, scope of a model, remember that a subject area model are the really high level look, look down at, at the project, at the data model. And these are the ones that are basic and critical to the business, you know, customer, vendor, store, product. You know, the big entities, not all the little entities will deal with those, but the subject area model contains the big entities. So in the logical data model, we take the entities that are in the subject area model and start looking at them logically and maybe breaking them up into, into bits and pieces. For instance, you know, maybe uh, a customer can have multiple phone numbers. Okay, well, that would be a separate entity. Um, maybe there are other things that you would split out and create separate entities as we go into a logical data model. Often, SAM entities become many logical entities, but um, some SAM entities may join together into a single entity. For instance, um, maybe you want to uh, uh, create a, a table called um, people. And a person can be an employee, a person can be a vendor, a person can be a customer, but they all just have one person address or person number. Wouldn't that kind of make sense that you see them in the subject area model as separate entities, but you would bring them together when you start working on a, on a logical model? As we get down in the detail, as we come down and look, get closer and closer, we need to also look at the physical data model. And in the physical data model PDM, the entities uh, may get broken up and combined, and the model changes based upon our servers and our software and the specific queries they want to run. So um, as we go through this modeling process, it's an iterative process, starting up here at the subject area model, moving into the logical data model, moving into the physical data model. And the entities may change. Um, the entities will change. But that's all part of the magic of data modeling and understanding and tearing things apart and figuring out just exactly what the client needs. Thank you for watching. This video is copyright 2020 by James Emerno, PhD. All rights are reserved. Have a great day.